Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Richardson. Mary Richardson. I am a psychic medium. I have had my abilities um, from the earliest of my memories. And uh, over the years, I have understood them better. So welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, thank you for coming by. If you've come back, thank you for dropping by. Please click like and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button as I do videos very frequently and there's always a message in there for you from Spirit. Today's message is all about Spirit communication. So I'm always um, channeling with Spirit and so if I pause a minute, it's just because I'm getting information from them, having a conversation with them. Um, they're, they're telling me this message is all about um, how I do what I do. So how do I communicate with them? I talk to them in my mind always. Um, it's different from self-talk. Self-talk is when you're just thinking about, oh, I've got to run to the grocery store. I've got to... Um, you know, I've got to water the lawn, I've got to feed the dogs, I've got to um, make sure that I get this done for work, or that's self-talk. This is different. This is communicating with spirit. That's just the best way to say it. Um, spirit, it will only um, bring kind messages of kindness and love um, never anything negative, never anything other than that. It's all about love and kindness. Primarily love, because kindness is love, right? So let's get that straight. So it's only messages of love. And I see, feel, hear, spirit. Um, so it's an ongoing dialogue. With spirit, they give me information, I bring it to you or to whatever person I'm channeling for. The, the we call them the list, the listener, the reader, whatever you want to, however you want to uh, um, describe the person that has hired me to read for them um, in a private reading, for instance. So I call it channeling some or. You can actually call it translating or I'm a clear channel for spirit. Just to be simple, it's a clear channel for to spirit um, to speak through me. I uh, Spirit will also um, sometimes just give me uh, just a clear knowing of things that I didn't learn any other way. I didn't learn it from reading. I didn't learn it because I... It's not a memory. It's not something I heard. It's not something um, that in the physical world that I, how I acquired that knowledge. It's just a clear knowing. For instance, um, if recently spirit showed me, someone came forward um, uh, that has passed away and I was in a group setting and I, this um, soul, departed soul, presented in their hand this yellow gold locket with a ruby right in the middle, a tiny ruby right in the middle, and very, very clear. And I actually could feel, I could feel um, that locket. So, the whole purpose is to bring messages to those that need to hear it um, from people that have departed. Um, so that locket was very, very real. It was as if I was holding it in my own hand. That's how real it felt. Um, and I had just a, a knowing of that locket um, of you know, the, the gold and that the gold was kind of worn, not worn away, but it was, wasn't was like new, like newly made. It was older and that tiny little ruby in the middle. And I just like could feel it in my hand. Um, 
so that's one way spirit also um, will make me feel certain ways in my solar plexus uh, if there's something that um, a message I need to say and and <laughs> and it's actually almost like a sick feeling like a like a you like a pushing like you need to say something you need to say this message and um a lot of times I wouldn't before I understood what that feeling meant um, from spirit. So it's all about like uh, kind of like developing an understanding of what they're conveying to me and as form of, uh, it's not always words. That's what I'm saying. It's not always words. Sometimes it's feelings. Um, a clear, so I have a clear knowing um, I can feel things. I hear them, sense them. Certainly when I was, uh, growing up, I could sense spirit all around me and it made me very nervous. And I would often walk around the house, turning on all the lights. Um, especially if I was home alone, turning on all the lights. Um, but mainly I would just keep myself busy. And this was into my, um, 20s as well I'd keep myself busy when I felt this kind of like fullness electricity um and it's hard to describe it's just a knowing that you're not alone so but I could feel it so intently that I would just keep myself busy um you know vacuuming washing dishes doing laundry just anything to distract myself before I understood what it was and that it was okay and that they're here to help they they want to help they're here to guide um all of us and those were my my guides um here to help me get on the right path and stay on the right path and to you know the sometimes you know the path you don't see your way ahead and that's where the guides you know can really help uh, because we don't always have to see our way ahead uh, to move forward. Um, and one of the things that spirit really, their form of support, by the way, um, really, really supportive. And one of the things that they did make known to me or tell me is, is that they said, don't panic just because you can't see your way ahead. And that was like so supportive because I so needed to hear that. And, and, um, because sometimes how we each experience the world is different from everybody else. I know mine was, and I've always known that, and I've always been okay with it, but I just didn't understand what to do with it. So now, thank goodness for YouTube and um, a clear way to bring you more information. If you're seeking out more information, if you're wanting a private reading, if you just want more information, I'm making as, as many videos as I can so that... Um, you all can understand that we all have guides. We just need to look for the signs and symbols if that's what you choose to do. We always have free will. Um, you don't have to do that, but know that your guides are not anything to be afraid of. They're here to help and they're here to help us um, through love um, and kindness to stay on our path because we're all here to do something, something positive. Um, so, uh, spirit communication, how else do I hear spirit, feel spirit? Um, I, uh, see spirit as well. Um, so I've had lots of experiences in my childhood where I saw spirit, um, didn't really feel comfortable chatting about it with, you know, those around me because I felt like, hmm. I don't know why. It just seems like unless everybody else is talking about it, maybe that's a little too different or too unusual. Um, but yeah, I see spirit. Now I understand it. Now I welcome it because I know they're not here to help. They're here to show me that they're they're here, that I'm not alone. We're not alone, none of us. Um, and they all have messages of love. So... Um, 
if I were to do a private reading for you, I can channel spirit. I can do tarot card readings. The tarot card readings are really fabulous. That's a whole nother video. Spirit's telling me don't go off on a tangent. They're like, focus. All right. So, um, my gift is to be used to heal. So I want to thank you for coming by today. Um, Spirit is saying, wait, there's more. There's more to the message. So the Spirit is saying that my, to use my gift to heal and that once healing has begun, then other areas open up for the person. Other areas of opportunities open up for the person. But healing comes first. It came first for me. Um, I know that I had to heal a lot uh, inside um, thing and clear blocks. And just, you know, a block can be something that holds you back. But really, it's something that needs healing. And I know that, you know, it's like dragging a heavy weight behind you, but if you can heal that and let that go, think of how much freer you are, how much more at peace you are. And I think spirit is is trying to, con well, I won't speak for spirit, but they're like, you're doing a good job. <laughs> so, so, you know, without dragging the weights that we have from things we've experienced or thoughts or, uh, whatever we need healing for, once healing has taken place, we are free. And they're saying healing is not hard. And that's a good message, right? And they're like, in transmission. All right, so that's how spirit lets me know the message is complete. Thank you for dropping by. Please click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell button as well because that will notify you every time I upload a new message for you. Um, also drop back by when you're led, when you feel pushed to come and watch these videos again, please do so even if you've watched them before, because that spirit's way of saying, hey, I'm gonna make something special known to you during this video that you didn't pick up the first time. Thank you. All my information is in the description box below. If you'd like to book a reading, I'd be so delighted to do that for you. Um, I also do past life regression. Um, let's heal. Goodbye for today. Thank you. Be happy and be kind. Bye for today.